Hello my fellow stars, it's Ventrix here, and oh my god, has it been a while since we've seen Raven or the lab? I'm thinking about someday giving Raven a new look, cause, um, she's still got like the old style skins I used to use. But, pretty soon Raven will look different someday, I'm playing a different skin for her sometime soon, I don't know when. But, first things first, we're back into the modded series that we have not been seeing in a while. And oh my god, Raven hasn't been a while since we've seen each other. I can tell you definitely, even though she doesn't look good because Minecraft characters don't really have expressions, I can tell you she's definitely happy too. Like, it's been so long since we've seen Raven. And we both, we all know, if you guys are from like the early stage of my channel, I did a lot of mod showcases and she was the main one with us. She was like one of the main NPCs. The NPCs. She's pretty much mocking me about that one, I'm pretty sure. But she was one of the main NPCs that we always had with us. She was usually the one who just read the dialogue. But today, we're at, I'm actually going to be doing it pretty differently. Because I actually found a way to make her follow us permanently. So she's going to be following us around the lab while we do these awesome experiments with this mod. And you're probably like, Ventrix, what is the mod today? I found a very interesting mod by the actual name let me see it it's JJ skill okay JJ skill mod so pretty much what it is is a mod that adds like we'll definitely be seeing it in this book I actually wasted a lot of time typing a book down because I didn't know there's a book about the mod the whole time so the whole entire time I've been typing that down she, she saw me going through like believe me the whole time I've been typing that book there's a book with the actual info in it right here so First of first, we're going with the basics of the book and what the mod actually is. So we're going to break it down, make it a little bit more simple because it may sound like very like confusing. And when I saw this, I definitely had to do this mod because you guys all know I love MMORPGs. And I could definitely come up with a series with this mod of having my own quests and completing them and leveling up it with this mod that'd be pretty epic probably add this to like a modded series or something but I'm not sure so the basics is what we need to go for this first so since JJ skill is a mod that brings more than 30 skills to the world of Minecraft so to feel like an to make it feel like an MMORPG skills would be both in both for combat PvP and PvE so yes if you are in like a multiplayer thing, a server with this mod in it, it'll work with PvP and PvE, which works for both those things. So that's pretty cool that even killing people who you're going against, you'll gain experience and level up from that. And for the farming, by collecting the red experience points looted by mobs, you'll be able to raise every single level up to 10. So every single level could go up to 10. I'm not sure if it goes further than that or if it's just like the stopping point is 10. So every level will correspond ever better stats. Thanks to the use of press, you'll be able to imprint your weapons to any of your learned skills. So pretty much what's saying is that there's a press in this mod and to any of the skills you have like the highest two, it'll give you probably the weapon to that certain skill that you have the highest in. I'm not fully sure about it myself because this is my first time diving into this mod and we're learning it together but at the same time I'm teaching you guys the mod too. By the way, I'm looking at it and hopefully we can both understand this mod as we go through. So there's something in this that adds more than just the normal experience, there's something called red experience. So. It's completely different, so as you guys can see, it shows our little red orb up here. So it says, the mod adds a new type of red experience that behaves in the same way as the classic EXP in vanilla Minecraft. Accumulating to experience, you'll be able to train your skill. To view the accumulate experience, press the key P. So if I have press P, you guys will see there is these awesome skills that we can learn. Which is really cool looking. Look at all these. So it's immobilize, invisibility, illusion. Th this is so cool. I'm definitely going to like make a mod with this. And you could use this experience down here to uh, master some of these experience stuff here or here. Which it says feline senses, adrenaline. Is that Sempa? Sempe? Or Sempa? I don't know what this will say, but 
this is actually really epic looking and I really really am excited to mess with this mod a little bit and actually see what the skills do I'm very confused with what the skills do considering I haven't tried them yet but as we see in the third page there's even more it's sensibility dread echo red raft days so I think these are probably things you could use against monsters which is really epic so there's something else within this and it is the um this thing right here it is possible is possible to retain more experience by drinking from the experience bottles that you could find in dungeon chests oh so in the overworld it it literally has these things in dungeon chests where you could gain it and you could gain a lot of experience i read it on the actual bottle itself that it gives you like a thousand experience points, but apparently you can find it in dungeons. We're definitely gonna have to do something with this. If you guys want me to do a survival series with this mod in it, tell me. And maybe I'll do it after I end one of my other survival series in the future. Just like so I have a little bit more time to think about this mod and how I'm gonna like import it of making it interesting. Because I kind of want it to be like a custom world where, um, Dungeons are completely different and everything about them and I get to make like quests my own quests We get to complete them in each episode get experience learn some skills I think that'll be pretty exciting for ourselves because it'll be like a private MMORPG but with um Single player and mods and I think that'll be pretty cool actually I, I kind of want to see that go on but that'll be like way in the future so I can have more time to think so there's multi-block structures. Yes, there is a multi-block structure which we will be showing. I'll actually be showing how to craft it. I know we're not really in the lab. It's just that this mod is pretty small and it's more about skill-based stuff and all that other stuff. Like, it's just a small mod. Just pretty much where you can explore the world, get stuff, level up, get some awesome skills you could use against monsters and all that other stuff. So, so it's multi-block structure. So it is, you could create this guy just to create this. So what this is called, it's called a block press. You create with two iron blocks just like this, an anvil in the middle of those, and then a bunch of wooden planks just like that. I believe it's not only oak you have to use, it's just that they're showing oak. And what this does right here is actually goes through the phases. So first you need to place down stair, you need to place down the plank, another staircase, just like that, put the anvil in the middle. I'm actually going to build it myself, just so you guys could see me doing it, other than just the book showing it. So I put all the crafting recipes in here, because I was looking at, I was counting how much it was. I decided to stay in creative too, you know. So, let's go in the lab, actually, and do this. So, come on, Raven. It's been a long time since we've seen Raven. You gotta admit, we, we, lo we love Raven. It's been so long since she's been with us in this series. So, welcome back, Raven. I bet you she's very proud of this, too. Even though, like, we won't really be using her for a lot of dialogue anymore, considering I finally figured out how to make her follow me, which is pretty epic. Because I've always wanted Raven to be able to follow us around the actual place, so that we don't leave her alone in one area. It's been so long, and I finally figured that out. So, first of all, what they're telling us to do is they're telling us to go just like that. Hopefully, Raven won't walk in my way. Oh, um, I think she knows though. And we need to go like this. Go like this again. Place six planks like this. And this. Alright, Raven, I need you to move a little bit. Thank you, Raven. And then we need to place this above the anvil. And then a slab. Just like this, I believe. And then we need to right click it. There we go. Here's the press. It's so cool looking too, like the model. Is amazing so this is the press that they said will like show what type of weapon you use I guess in this is where all the skills will be going and those skills actually go into the weapon you create which would be really epic apparently you could name it probably too so I really want to see what this does because I'm very confused with all this mod stuff as you heard my voice I was kind of like losing it I was like what does this thing do so just to get this we might have to learn a few levels so before we learn some skills, we're actually going to look through the list of skills itself, so. We got Immobilize, which is all these cool stats right here. Perimeters, level 1 to level 10. Duration, 
1.7 cooldown energy. This shows this right here just shows all the skills, which is really epic. I don't know if this book actually has a crafting recipe. It probably does. I'm not fully sure. But this is all the skills you get to learn, which is really epic. Even leave that. That sounds awesome. So here's the weapons finally. This mod adds 15 weapons, three swords, three bows, three battle axes, and three daggers, and then three stabs. The skill can be associated with some of the weapons slash items used to three skills each. You're able to bring up bring up with three skills weapon item and change the selected skill. Press the key L menu. So L menu. So I'm guessing that's like I don't know what that is. Oh this. Oh no, probably not that actually. I think that's from custom NPCs, but yeah, we're going to see what these skills do. And if I think about it, each skill goes with a type of class, which means stab is probably mage, dagger is probably assassin, definitely. The bow is definitely an archer, and the sword is probably like a knight or something like that. So, definitely all this these awesome things that we're going to be doing in this series is going to be worth it, I think. At least throughout this um, mod showcase, so. I'm going to see what, what skills I want to pick. So, I think I want to learn... Hmm. So, there's Fast Archer. That definitely shows you the bow. Crouch? Do you not... Crouch? Oh, does it make you, like, go faster? Probably in crouching? I don't know. I was like, did this, does this disable crouching? Healing? Definitely going to be the mage. Um... I can already see what's a mage and what's an archer. This is definitely archer right here. And I think I'm going to try going mage, probably. So the skills I want to learn is probably healing. Um, probably not aerial shield. Invisibility, probably not. Dance of growth. Quick fertilizer. Very interesting stuff, though. I don't know what... Public glacial dart in this. I kind of want to go with uh, mage. So I'm going to see if I could get those, like, awesome skill points. So I'm going to go ahead and start drinking some of these. Uh, let's press this, I think. Yeah. So what's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to go through here. I think you could select skills. Oh, probably not. Oh, I need 2,000. So let me grab a few of these, and we're going to be drinking them all down and seeing if I could get mage and see if I could see through all the staffs. I kind of want to see the staffs. But after I test this, I'll I'll get all the other weapons and we'll look what they do. Because I think that'll be pretty cool. So I want heal. We want um Let me see here. I think I wanted the um Yeah, this. Uh probably this. Glacial dart. Need a few more. So we need to just drink a lot of these and just get a lot of XP, as I can see. So it's going to take you a while to get your first skill, but it makes sense with the MMORPG feeling, because it does kind of take you a long time to get some of your first skills. So I think I got them all, if I'm not wrong. So let me see what it does. Oh no, it doesn't do anything. I actually don't know what it does, but... I know you could choose from different classes. I'm probably got to figure that out like some other time, or you guys could figure out probably when you play with this mod. I'm not sure how many of you guys will play with this mod because you know I just review them mostly. So, hmm. But the thing is, it said stabs, but there's no stabs. But there's a dagger. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to test the whole thing with mobs, because even a mob should drop, like, experience that help you level up a little bit. So, apparently this type of mob... Yeah, I think we just got some red EXP right there. So let me kill our mob, just to show you guys. There it is. The red EXP orb is this right here. That's so cool looking, though, because... Now not only are you only getting the normal EXP that you chant with, you're getting the red EXP which helps you level up and learn all these cool skills. I kind of like healing. When I think about it, whenever I um, do play MMORPG, sometimes with another person, I like to be healer. I'm definitely a person who likes to heal when I'm around people, or if there's already a healer, I'll go with um, one of the tank. 
classes in an RPG because that's just the type of person I am. I'm a person who gets stand through any type of class because I enjoy them all. But my favorite class is probably like mostly tank or support, so. Let's see what we got with mobs. A zombie? I don't think this mod adds any other mods. Like any mobs. Let me look though. It's not a bad idea to look just in case some mods do add mobs. No. This doesn't add any mobs. So we're going to test it with all these hostile mobs and see if they drop any more. Oh. Slash. <laughs> Difficulty normal. There we go. Let's test a different weapon than what we were using before because I kind of want to go with something else. I kind of want to go with the spear. Do you throw the spear? No, you fight with the spear. Okay. So this is kind of like the Windcraft class if you think about it actually because they have the spear and then they have the bow user and then some other things. So that's pretty cool. Do they give you more? So, oh yeah, they definitely give you more of the ready XP than um the other ones, so. Ma I think um zombies only drop like no. Um animals only drop like one. I think mobs yeah, like this guy he dropped two of them, just like he dropped two XP orbs. So that's really, really useful actually, if you think about it. I think there actually is an emerald thing where you have to... Yeah. So I don't know what these are for, to be honest, so... Yeah, I'm not sure too much about this mod. I kind of wish I could, like, get all the info I need. But... Oh, wait. Is it showing like... Oh, it's showing a shovel and a pickaxe. Oh, it shows, like, different tools, too. I think there's actually tools that are supposed to go into this mod, probably, too. So it's showing a shovel, which is very interesting. Here's the Sun Spear. That's really cool looking. So these are all weapons what you could use. It's the Precious Bow, the Fatal Bow, and the car Curve Bow. Which I believe all have like different damage. Let's see how much damage each of these do. So that did like... I'm all the way to half health. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> My voice is kind of going out because it's really late. And... I'm kind of tired, like I kind of got to get the groggy voice, but I want to record this before I went to bed, so. I actually want to test this on zombies. It's actually a good thing that's raining, or else this just wouldn't work. So, it's actually good that it's raining out right now on this. So, that didn't do too much damage, alright. Let's go to the next zombie. Actually, I actually just want to test, like, different zombies for bow damage. That didn't do much damage at all, that was a... So I can actually tell what's better. So this one did um, one, two, three, four. Four and a half. This one did three and a half. And this one did um, four and a half. So I think this is the weakest bow right here. So yeah. Or maybe I shot it weaker than normal. Let me see. Oh yeah, I probably just shot it weaker last time. I don't know there's any difference in these bows, but I know there's skills you can learn, definitely. Maybe I should see if I can learn any of the bow skills and see if we can learn them. Let's see what skills we can actually use. I want to know what skills I can use. And to be honest, I want to know how you can use skills, too. So, um, let me look. I don't remember how you do this. Let me grab the book again. Let me get this out. So, list of skills. So I have this one right here. It creates heal zone inside which all allies will be fortified. That's pretty cool. Well, look, you can just hit the arrow and go through. I'm going to go through all the skills so that you guys can know. So we're going to click the first skill. So immortalize petrifies the enemy and preventing them a movement. Invisibility makes it so you're completely invisible. So it's just like invisibility potion. But probably for a longer moment of time. So visible to the eye of the enemy. So and then there's illusion causes the fortify hallucination to the foe whom they'll be seeing ghosts. So that's pretty cool. So it's like creating clones of yourself that they'll have to figure out which one's the real you. So that's pretty cool. The the mirror. I can't say that. <laughs> Materializing. Detamer. The. 
dematerializing. There we go. Grants the power of de dematerializing. I can't believe they used it twice in the description. The surface of the torches or the touches. One touch is so once you touch it, you'll like def definitely ruin something. I think that means so. Fast archer skill that elastic. Oh, why do you have to use such big words on me, Minecraft? This is Minecraft, man. And I have to like know these words, so it just makes you shoot a lot faster. I'm pretty sure. So that's what that means. Arrow storm and multitude of flaming arrows fired. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Aerostorm kind of reminds me of a, a skill off of, um, what was it called? Fiesta Online, because there was actually, I think, uh, an attack called that. But instead, it, it just rained down arrows on the on the mobs. I think that's what it was. I, I don't know why I talked about another game, but I'm sorry. It just reminded me that with that. Area Shield gives off a mystical barrier that largely protects from damage the creature within its area. That's cool. So just like that we already seen that, grants you a greater boost of one's legs, making it much higher leap. So that's pretty cool. Throws impart imports the knockback on impact with the target. So that means if it probably if they probably hit you, you'll take less KB. That's gonna or maybe it gives the target more KB, just like KB2 and KB1 on a sword. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Quick fertilizer, a powerful fertilizer that's capable of instantly growing any crop. So that's going to be pretty useful in survival. So if you have this skill in survival, it's definitely going to help you out in the basis of needing food. Because then you pretty much grow your wheat faster and everything. And there you go. There's your food. So dance of growth. It's an ancient dancing ritual which in complete will increase the develop of crops. Just like the other one, this will help you also. So feline senses, just like a cat, whoever learns a skill will be able to leap into the void and not with not much harm. So that's going to be pretty cool too. So it makes it so like probably you don't take too much full damage or just like I said, it's the void damage or something like that. Adrenaline, a doping substance that permits the body, allowing it to run like a madman. So yeah, just like it says, adrenaline make you run even faster, just like a madman. That's pretty a good way to put it. I like that. An advancing fishing technique, which attributes the ability of managing more fishing rod simultaneously. Oh, that's actually very useful in fishing. So if you're a person who loves fishing, me technically, there you go. This skill is perfect for me and you guys who love fishing in MC. You catch a lot more stuff. Mega spread shoveling near is easily for those who learn the skill. That's awesome. Super mind. The my the pickaxe is acquired a greater penetrability kind of stone mining it faster. So that's pretty cool. So this one mine makes you mine faster like haste. Break the wood uh, so break wood allows instantaneously break wood of all kinds. So that's very useful too. Crouch. Crouch to pass through narrow space. Oh, that's so useful. Even MC, if you if you want to make like a tight space, and then your character out to crouch through. Oh, that's so epic. Hardwood lumberjack cuts down any tree and the only one hitting it in the roots or trunk of the fall. Oh, so this one actually caused it to fall. That's pretty cool. Attractive bait it uses the Amek bait that could catch a fish without you having to do anything. Sweet. Bleeding. One who's grievous with a grievous wound, which will make the enemy bleed, increasingly weakening them. So if you think about this, this is like MC MMO, but in a mod. It technically is what it is. That's technically big time what this mod is, but instead you actually get to use actual skills. So this, I guess you could say this is like a single player MC MMO if you want it. So that's going to be pretty cool. So then there's glowing blade. The blade of your weapon will become an... And condensed, and condensed to the point of setting your foes on fire. So it's just like fire aspects. So that's pretty epic. Vortex of blades. Summon a vortex of blades which cuts anyone who crosses it. That's so cool. I like all these like skills. I like all the names and I just love all the descriptions how they describe it. It's really good. Grants your body greater weight so that your feet will always be anchored to the ground. So I'm guessing that makes it so you don't take too much KB. 
like how you normally do. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Dead Echo. Parts of the life energy of defeated foes will be bestowed upon you. So that's probably like you you'll heal after killing an enemy. I think that's what that is. I believe that's what that is. It's like soul steel and all those other enchantments that you really love because they help you live longer while fighting someone. When cling on to life, there's a chance of harming the enemy positively. Or passively. Oh, that's pretty cool. Days increases the damage of one bringing a strong feeling of nausea. Ooh, nausea. That's that's a fun one. Glacial dart summons a sharp crystal directly towards the enemy. And then lava mass throws an orb of blazing magma capable of triggering a powerful explosion on impact. Wow. Analyst drop. This is one I learned, but I didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was. Retrieves products from animals production from your crit critters without killing them. Oh, that's so cool. Energetic beam casts a strong beam of light towards the enemies, causing them moderate harm. All right, that's pretty cool. So that's all the skills of that. So I kind of want to learn how to use the skill. So key, press the L menu. L menu, which one is that on my, uh... Oh. Hi, zombies. So I'm gonna figure out what this left menu thing is, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, everyone, so I changed the key because I didn't know where my left menu was. I know I'm really newbie to that, but I never really use left menu as a key, so I decided, you know, let's just change the key. Apparently, it should be the grave key, but nothing's happening. Huh. Apparently, nothing's happening. I don't know what it does. Oh, wait, maybe I need to be in game mode pass. Let me get rid of these zombies real quick, too, before I go in survival, or else these guys will definitely attack me. So I'm gonna get rid of you, and, um, is there more? Yeah, here's the other guy. Alright, you need to get out here, because I need to go in survival, so. Game mode, S. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So what it does is that it adds more stuff so what i believe is it changes your health bar and if you guys are wondering what the blue bar is that's your mana that's what you're gonna be using your skills with so that's gonna be pretty epic to learn so the thing is that i'm wondering is how do i use my skill like what do i press create zone all right let me see how i can use these so let me look into the book some more and see. Oh wait, did I get rid of the book? Oh dang it. Let me be right back real quick. I'm gonna figure this out again. All right guys, so I'm very confused. For some reason my, my like, skills tab won't show up. So I know I have this learned for sure, but for some reason when I hit the key that's telling me to hit, cause I changed it to grave, even the book says hit grave. I'm actually pressing the grave key right now. And it's not working, like, at all. I do have some skills learned, which is very weird. So I don't understand why my skills aren't working. I actually have no clue how to use my skills on this, so. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I think I just reviewed everything. I told you guys all the skills. Maybe you guys could learn on yourself. I know it's supposed to be a mod review. And I'm supposed to know all this information. But I'm sorry, just don't. Because it's actually very, it's much more confusing than it seems. Like, when I, when I saw this mod, I was like, oh, it's going to be an easy mod to look at. But actually, it really, really is. I'm sorry about pushing my mouse like that. But it's not really an easy one because I don't know how to use the skill. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can figure this out. Maybe someday in a series, I'll use this. That would be pretty epic because I'd love to actually have this in a series. Considering I love MRPGs. And, yeah. Maybe we could invite Raven to be in that series with us. So, if you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase of the f first returning to this, it's been so long since we've seen Raven. I might remake Raven as a new skin because I kind of want her to have like a new look, just like how I have a new look. So we could both look uh, pretty new, and maybe I could make her look a little bit cooler. So yeah. If you guys have enjoyed the video and you want to see more of these, also if you want to request, because I allow mod requests, as you guys can see on this wall over here that we were near before, there were signs on it so that you guys could actually review and you guys get to be putting the wall names and have your moss, your, your moderate below, not your moss, but 
yeah, if you guys are new and you enjoy what you see in my content, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, show some support for the series also, just so I know how much you guys are enjoying it and how much you guys want more of this. And that's where I'm wrap up this video. I'm sorry to have too much information in the mod. We fall never even following us. That's pretty epic. So, yep. I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you, my fellow stars. Raven Qs, please stop making fun of me because I didn't know how to use the skills, okay? I'm sorry. Is it okay that I don't know how to use the skills? Are you are you that are you that disappointed in me? Well I'm sorry, okay? Maybe maybe we could do something really cool, so. Let's go do something pretty epic now that we finish this mod review, because it's been so long since I seen you.